No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Hey everybody, this is Andy with No Film School. We're here with Sneha, uh, looking at uh, the Zeiss booth and all of the lenses they have here. So, uh, what's new? We're showing off the 180 millimeter uh, Master Anamorphic. There's also a new 28 millimeter as well. So it's really completing the set. Now you have a lot more lanes to work with. So it's great for filmmakers that they want to be able to go tight on the anamorphic look. So if you look at the monitors, you'll see it gives you a nice wide view, but also in a great close-up. You know, and you could really be some distance away. You could change the front and rear element of the lens. So the normal look is very clean and very sharp all the way from edge to edge, but you can change the front element and it'll give you flares and a little bit of softness. And you change the back element, it'll decontrast uh, in the highlights just like you would on an older, like classic, maybe let's say, uh, anamorphic lens. Uh, so are these, these are user, user interchangeable front and back elements of these lenses? Uh, in actuality, this is more of a rental house item, so I don't think a user would do this. It would most more generally be a clean room at a rental house where they do lens repair. That's where they would be changing the elements. Uh, how many different types of elements do you guys have out to swap out right now? So the lens comes with its own front and rear elements that are the standard. And then there's two elements you can change, the front and the rear, uh, separately. So you can get four different looks. You could just change only the front element and get the flares. You could change only the back element and get the decontrast in the, in the highlights. Or you could change the front and back together and you get a fourth look altogether. And the, those uh, interchangeable front and backs are just for the, the master anamorphics? Correct. Correct. So I have something to show you which is brand new, which is our uh, rings. So if you look over here, we have now gear rings that you can put around a still lens. So you could add a ring to it and actually have hard stops. And it, and it really works well. I'm going to show you another one on a Red Rock Micro Kit. So walk over here with me. So right here you can see we've put the lens on this A7S rig with a Loxia lens. The Loxia is our manual focus uh, line of lenses for the A7E mount sensor, full frame. And we're able to put a motor system on it and it works just fine. And our manual focus still lenses include the Loxia. Then we also have Milvis, which are for uh, EF mount or for Nikon mounts. And we have Otis, which is for Nikon mount and Canon mount as well. Otis is our premium lens line. That's like you're talking about 4,500 to 6,000 per lens. Lens, and that's a still lens, but really you could use it like a cinema lens. So this is the Otis lens, and Otis lens we put the ring on here. You, the way that the ring works is you, you tighten it on there. See right now it's loose, and then you just tighten it into place. And underneath the rubber ring on our lens there's a, there's a metal housing. So you're not going to squeeze down too hard, nothing's ever going to happen. There's no plastics involved. So this is called the Lens Gear system, and it's precise branded. And as you can see it really adds a nice .8 pitch gear. Uh, to your system and you could put all kinds of standard follow focus on here from the inexpensive to the expensive. Um, are these, so I, yeah, I mean I imagine these have to come in all different sizes for the different lens lines or is there, are they adjustable slightly? There are four standard sizes and they're adjustable and actually we have a chart to tell you which one of our lenses each one of those goes on. So when it comes to cinema, nowadays you're seeing a big trend towards going lighter and using more zooms. That way people can move quickly between one kind of setup and another. They can do more handheld, you know, steady cam shots, things like that. We have a set of three zooms, they're called the compact zooms. They're all full frame. And just like our compact primes, they're interchangeable mounts. So you can do EF mount, PL mount, Nikon mount, E mount for Sony, or even Micro Four Thirds if you wanted to. They offer full frame coverage, really good quality glass. They match with ultra prime. So they're actually purpose-built for cinema and there's three lengths. There's a 15 to 30, the 28 to 80, and the 70 to 200. So the tracking is 100%, tracks correctly, focus doesn't breathe, you know, it's very minimized. So they're really, really good choice for glass and they're affordable. I mean, they're around 20,000 per glass per, per lens and we have full frame coverage. So this is, we're showing it on the, on the Weapon Dragon purposely today because, you know, this you is- want to show off that full frame coverage. We want to show the full frame coverage and really this is the only cinema lens you can get on the market that will work well with the, with the AK camera. 
the last thing I want to show you is our Zeiss CP2 super speed lenses. So the Zeiss CP2 line has been around for quite some time. You know, it's been you know quite a few years. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. It's got, got a lot of brand recognition CP2s. Absolutely, really recognized widely. We have three new pieces of glass: the 35, 15, 85 super speed CP2s. Now these CP2s they open up past the 2.1 t2.1 of the original CP2 lenses, and they go to 1.5. And within that 2.1 to 1.5 range, actually, you get a kind of a classic soft look of the 80s lenses or the 90s lenses from back in the day. Maybe like a Super Speed Mark II or Mark III or something like that. Breathing characteristics of an Ultra Prime, but you know, a classic look in a modern lens. And it's inexpensive. It's only a few hundred dollars more than a CP2 that's not Super Speed. So it's a great way to put something in your kit where if you wanted a classy look or if you want to open up more because you're at night and you just have less light or you know less lighting that you want to do, you have the choice to use this lens. And it's a same robust housing, same full frame covered, same interchangeable mounts. So it's just a, a better version uh, that gives you more possibilities of the same lens. Is it intended to be a replacement for that particular lens in the lineup? Right, so if you're buying a new lens set, I would say that within the new CP2 set, you would want to get the, C the Super Speed 35, 50, 85. But some people are buying it just to enhance their old set. You know, or they might just pick a length or two. They might say, well, I really live on the 1585. Why not just get those two and I'll get those in super speed. So we have a lot of choices. And like I said, it's only a few hundred dollars more in a price point of around, you know, 4,000 to 5,000 for this line of lenses. It's very affordable. Easily a range where an owner operator could get those, buy those and not actually have to rent them. Yes, absolutely. And this is the lens that actually you can change the mount as an owner operator. It takes about five minutes to do and it's shimmable. There's no other lens on the market in this price point or lower that allows you to shim the lens with factory shims as you change the mount. Because you know as much as I do that, yeah, maybe the Alexa PL mount, the mount will be perfect. But as soon as you put it on like an EF mount, maybe it, the, the back focus won't be correct. How do you correct for that? The best way to do it is, of course, if you want your marks to be accurate, is to shim. And we provide the shims in there. We have a, a chart online. So you, you do your measurements. You put it at four feet. You see if you're an inch or two off. And then you can find out what shims you need and put it in yourself. I do it all the time, you know, I was really worried the first time I did it. I had to take the mount off, you know, I know how it is. You want to keep, be very careful. But honestly, if you pay attention and do it, you'll be doing it like this really quick. And that's nice because if you are a person that wants to own lenses, you want to own them for a long time. And you want to be able to move between different camera systems and we give you the system to do that.